What's up everybody? It's Dan here. Welcome to the game update for July 2012. I apologize for this being a little bit late. As you guys know, I've been trying to get some content out. Uh, quite a bit of content still from June 26th. I would like to briefly talk about that uh, in this update here. Wait, did I say channel or game? It's a game update. I don't know if I said the other one or whatever, but uh, anyways, I kind of want to cover what's going on with the current... Uh, Current games that I'm uploading, etc., etc. Actually, I'm going to start off with that just so you guys, so I can get out of the way and you know what's going on. Um, as you guys know, I've been uploading kind of slower lately for the releases that came out on June 26th, and that includes, uh, uh, let's see, the Skyrim Dawn Guard DLC, uh, Spec Ops: The Line, uh, Amazing Spider-Man, and which is done now, but uh, I had also done the um, uh, episode two of Walking Dead. And I'm pretty sure that's all there was, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me think. One, two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Um, and I'm still uploading Spec Ops The Line. Actually, by the time you see this, it'll be, it'll be fully uploaded. But uh, I'm, I'm also uploading... I'm still uploading Spider-Man, which will be done uh, very soon. Uh, well, they, actually, I'm finished Spider-Man and Spec Ops The Line, by the way. In case you didn't know, I've been done Spider-Man for the past day. Uh, however, Dawn Guard, I haven't finished. I've been kind of doing that slower because I've been uploading slower. I like to put it out there that this isn't a normal schedule, guys. The reason I'm doing it like this, as of now, is just because all the releases that came out on June 26th were big releases that people wanted to see. And I wanted to get everyone, at least whet their appetite a little bit with uh, these games that came out. So I was uploading kind of in sections, and I still have been. But I've been picking up my pace, and I'm going to go back to the way things were. Probably about 10 parts a day, hopefully, because uh, I polled everybody. Uh, just for the record, I poll everybody on on my Facebook page whenever I have questions or concerns or whatever. Uh, I go to them, you got the guys on Facebook and Twitter, and basically you tell me what's best. Because I listen to you guys. It's the easiest way to communicate via Facebook and Twitter. So if you guys are ever wondering how come you made these decisions, I consult my fan base first. The ones that actually follow me on Facebook and Twitter. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you want to know where to go or what's happening, I would recommend going there. Uh, but other than that, what are you going to do, right? So, anyways, uh, what's going to happen in the month of July? Uh, can I tell you? There's practically, I think there's zero full release dates or full releases this month. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, there's a couple that I've decided to do. Uh, in the meantime, and something I want to get your opinion on that I've kind of wanted to do this month. Um, okay, first things first, um, in terms of demos, if there are any demos or, or small, short, little section things that you guys know of that I don't, I would love to hear what, what what's coming out this month that may be a demo related or whatever that I haven't got a chance to do or I didn't know about. Let me know of them, because uh, I would love to do smaller things, a bunch of smaller things, but at the same time, I would like something a little bit longer to, to keep me occupied and to keep you guys entertained for the month of July. Because uh, like I said, there isn't a whole lot there. Um, now, I'm fully aware that the Resident Evil 6 demo is available. However, I did not purchase Dragon's Dogma, so therefore I can't get it. That's the only way you can get it is if you have Dragon's Dogma on the Xbox 360, which I would have bought it for on 360, but I didn't really have taken interest in it. But uh, that's not a big deal, whatever. So let me know in that regard. Uh, also, the only one new thing that I'll be doing, and I think a lot of people are going to like this one, uh, releasing on July 18th, which I believe is a Wednesday, uh, is the HD re-release of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, uh, a game I actually grew up with. Along with, it also has it's not just the first one; it's got uh, Pro Skater 2 in there as well, levels and challenges and things for Pro Skater 1 and 2, which are two of some of the best games in my opinion for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater because uh, of the classics. I even looked at it has the classic soundtrack. Etc. Etc. It's pretty cool, so uh, I'll, I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, maybe not necessarily do the full game, but at least get some content out there. I'll, I'll try and do as much as I can, because I remember the old school games. You're on a timer, and you had to finish everything in that level the whole time. That was if you chose not to free skate. You were just doing challenges. I'll try and just get through the basic stuff and unlock what I can. You know what I mean? But I, I, like I said, I haven't played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater in years. Last one I played was American Wasteland 2, and I only played it briefly. Uh, but uh, those old games, I used to love them. I love Underground. Uh, wait, was there? No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
There's no such thing as an American Wasteland too, right? It was just American Wasteland. There was only yeah, and then it went to like Tony Hawk Ride or something. Yeah, I played American Wasteland. And then before that, Underground and Underground too. Yeah, okay, that's what I got mixed up. Uh, yeah, American Wasteland was the last one I played. Um, but anyway, that's what's going down on. That's the middle of the month though. That still leaves out a huge gap of stuff. So while I'll still be uploading the rest of uh, Spec Ops footage, which includes multiplayer, I haven't had a chance to do that late, as of late. I'm kind of making milk in this month, this like you know this content, just because I knew there wasn't going to be much in July. Um, so that's why I'm uploading. That's another reason why I'm uploading slower, is to get some content out in July, because I know there's not a whole lot. So um, yeah. So like I said, I'm gonna finish wrap, uh, finish uh, uploading Amazing Spider-Man. I believe there are 24 parts in that guy. The only reason that it's so low comparatively is because I actually increased the length of my videos on a lot of them. A lot of them are at least 20 minutes long. So um, a lot of people requested that. I think a 20 minute video are better. That way we have less videos but more content and we can watch in whatever order we want, right? So that's something I got requested as well. I'm going to act upon it depending how well it does, how well you guys like it. Uh, if you think it's the better option, I will start uploading 20 minute parts, you know, because I think that's a nice rounded number. At least it doesn't spam you guys too much with the amount of uploads that come in. But anyway, that's that's Spider-Man. I believe it's 24 parts. Um, and finally, yeah, Spec Ops you've already, is already fully uploaded. Should be anyway. It had an error a little last night. I actually uploaded it. Uh, well, depending when you're watching this. I don't know when I'm going to post this video here. But uh, the other night I tried uploading it. Uh, today, actually, the, the day I'm recording it, which is Thursday the 5th. So, um... I, I never got a check. I checked and I'm like, what happened? And last night and then and today it failed. To, or this morning, what, what happened? Something failed a couple times. I don't know what happened. I think it was this morning. Yeah, they failed. They said unknown reason, blah, blah, blah. It hasn't happened in a while. But anyway, um, that's up there. And we got the Amazing Spider Man. And we have um, Dawn Guard DLC, which hopefully, I don't know how long it is. So I don't know how, much more, how many more missions I have. But we're getting closer to the end, I think. Um, and the Spec Ops multiplayer, as well as um, the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 um, uh, HD re-release coming out on the 18th of July, so in a few weeks here. Um, okay, here's what I want to get you guys' thoughts on. That's still a lot of time for games like to not come out. Even August only has two, I think. So there's like a, this summer, everyone's taking a break, I guess, these game developers or something. But uh, anyway, uh, that's what's happening. I, I mean, what do you do, right? So I kind of had a thought, and I want to get your guys' opinion on a game. A game I've loved for a long time. It's not new by any means, yet it's not ancient. And I'm what I mean by uh, age range, I'm talking original Xbox, or like PS2, uh, that sort of era. But I believe this was a 360 uh, Xbox only, if I'm not mistaken. I think, yeah, I think this series was only on Xbox. And I'll show you really quick. I'll just grab it. Uh, my old games, and I wanted to do this. Uh, I don't know if necessarily you guys want to see it, but I think this would be nice. Um, however, if you want to watch, I, the biggest thing I want to make sure you guys want to watch it before I post something, and you, then all of a sudden you're just hitting X on it, and you don't want to watch it at all, and I'm just spamming you. I don't want that. I want you guys to be entertained this summer. So I figured, how long has it been since this game came out? Um, Nine years this game has been out. This game came out nine years ago. Uh, actually, I don't know when it was released exactly, but um, yeah. Uh, this is an option for the month of July. Let me know what you think. Uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the first one that came out in 2003. Why do I reckon that, recommend this game? Well, this is when Bioware was really breaking through with their good titles, and they still are doing well, obviously, but. Um, this game is one of my all-time favorites, and I figured maybe I'd just do a, a, a run-through of uh, Nice Hill Republic. I know it like the back of my hand. I don't know how many times I've played this game, but it was countless. Hell, I actually, I don't think I did every single side mission ever, so if I did do it, I'd probably try and do a bunch of side missions. But uh, the only concern I have is I don't have my original Xbox anymore. I can't remember what happened to it. So with that being said... I remember that this game, and also the second one, Nice Old Republic 2, has a bit of trouble running on the new console just because of the way it is. Uh, like, I, there's like skippage and stuff like that. But if that's the case, I don't really want to do it because like vocal command, vo voices, 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 voices are uh, like when I last tried it were skippy. 
like they would cut out, and I hope that doesn't happen. But if I can, if it doesn't and it works out, would you guys be interested in seeing um, a Let's Play or whatever of Star Wars: The Knights of the Old Republic? And would you watch it? That's what I want to know. The only thing is, I guarantee it'll be a good chunk of time because it is uh, an RPG. Uh, but I would strongly recommend you guys be interested in this. I would like to get your thoughts though. However, if there are any other games, post right now in the comments. If there's any games you want to see this month that I've never done before, like nothing too crazy where I have to go out and buy this and buy that, but something within reason. If I have it already, you guys maybe post some ideas of games that I can maybe cover that you've wanted to see. And I don't, I don't mean like little things like just whatever games that someone personally likes. The group. I want to see the group answer here on what you'd really like to see in the month of July because maybe I can go get it and do it or if I have it I can do it you know what I mean so um, that's an option but I want to make sure you guys watch that's the one thing with old games I, I want to make sure everybody watches it because with older games they've seen it they pass it up but a lot of you guys watch for the commentary anyway so if that's the case well maybe that's a good idea but this is my suggestion you guys give me your suggestions uh, let me know if there's any demos like I said demos DLCs that are coming out this month um, but other than that, there's not a whole lot going on, new, going on new except for the remaining footage I still have to upload and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD that comes out on the 18th. So that's it for this game update. Uh, really nothing much in, in uh, July, not a whole lot in August, although August has a couple new actual full retail releases, but we'll get to that in the game update for August. But as for now, that's it for this channel. Oh, ooh, I almost did that. Game update for July 2012. Again, guys, let me know your thoughts on everything I've said, recommendations. I'd love to hear them because I want to get an idea. I want to do something. Like, I mean, sometimes it's hard when you get a ton of stuff at once. I like spreading it out. That way I can have something to do, but I don't feel stressed. You know what I mean? So, that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching. Let me know. I appreciate it. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. So, take it easy, guys. Hope you enjoyed the footage that will come soon, hopefully. But other than that, guys, thanks again. Take it easy. Have a good one. And we'll see you next time.